So I have completed a review of Brain Nutrition, a Lifespan Approach by Goyle. This review talked about early studies showing that the brain makes up about a mere 2% of the average weight of an adult human, but it accounts for 20-25% to of the body's total energy consumption. So this is really important as we are focusing on brain development and shows that we should also be focusing on nutrition intake. Um, as a new brain is developing, it shows that by the age of two, glucose consumption, which is the main energy source of the brain, is equivalent to that of an adult. And even more strikingly is the fact that glucose consumption in the human brain by the middle of the first decade of life is twice that of an adult. Nutrients affect the anatomy, the chemistry, the physiology, and cumulatively influence the performance of the, of the brain through all life cycle phases. The review went through all the macro and the micronutrients um, that the brain uses for energy and other processes. I'm going to focus on iron and choline. So iron is um, incorporated into the human body, into heme, for oxygen, oxygen transport. Um, it for absorption and metabolism are tightly regulated by the host of genes to manage the delicate ba balance of equilibrium in the body. In the brain, iron concentrates in white matter, but is required throughout for oxygen transportation and as a neurotransmitter for metabolism. Iron deficiency in childhood has been associated with dysfunction in the hippocampus and myelin production and in aging evidence shows that iron accumulation in the brain is associated with neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Choline is another vitamin that I focused on and it's an essential nutrient identified more recent recently in 1998 and in, as in increasingly recognized for its importance in early brain development, learning, and increased um, memory functions throughout adulthood. Choline is necessary for phospholipid production and cell membrane integrity and synthesis of acetylcholine in the brain development and function. It also serves as a methyl donor via the conversion of hemocysteine to methane methionine um, in one carbon metabolism that ultimately affects um, other processes within the brain. Choline requirements are especially high during pregnancy and studies have shown that enduring effects of choline deficiency on long-term memory and cognition in fetuses and into later adulthood. The review goes into the depth of all the vitamins and minerals and how they are important in brain development to show a lifespan approach is necessary to fully capture the complexities of brain nutrition.